Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are in the workshop here in Feltre with Christian that came to help me giving the first styling on this uh, very interesting uh, Scots pine. So, the Scots pine uh, collected many years ago in Spain uh, was uh, very well prepared by creating the first uh, two band. So, the original trunk uh, was in this position, it was bent down uh, using some uh, very heavy uh, screw and uh, guy wire. It was a free band, so no raffia, no protection just uh, slowly bending uh, the part uh, in position and looking uh, how the fiber of the wood uh, will react. Sometimes we can uh, uh, move uh, the band along the time rather than do everything in one uh, uh, time. If uh, we do the fast mode, we generally put raffia, some uh, electrical tape uh, to hold the moisture and we bend. But also we can prepare the material by start uh, using some fulcrum point uh, and bend uh, slowly along the time using a very strong eye wire until uh, the branch uh, is in the position we want. In the meantime, also the second section of the trunk uh, was bent up because the idea is uh, to use uh, this uh, more or less uh, with the front. We have a good transition, we have some focal point, uh, we have the bend in the back uh, and then uh, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna push uh, this apex uh, up uh, using another guy wire and then uh, framing uh, nicely all this beautiful trunk, uh, especially the lower area with a lot of uh, uh, nice bark uh, and character with the branches and create a nice uh, and compact uh, scotch pine. So remember, preparation on a material like this uh, is very, very important. That brings up uh, now the moment uh, to style properly the tree. No rush, prepare the tree, get everything structurally in position and then uh, work uh, on uh, the project. The goal is to bend the back uh, and close a little bit more this section so we can still use this as a nice apex uh, and have a nice and elegant movement up. We are not looking for to compact the, the tree too much around the trunk but to highlight this uh, nice movement that was uh, artificially basically created by opening up some branches around it and using the branch as a frame for the trunk. So now we're gonna prepare all the branches uh, with the raffia and then we will start uh, bending this section back uh, and from that point uh, using uh, the structural wire, moving the branch uh, in the different position to then uh, with the final wire refine uh, the shape of the pads. When uh, we think about uh, bending some branches, uh, first of all uh, we wanna 
feel the branch uh, and see the direction we're gonna move. In this case, the branch is gonna go down clockwise uh, direction. And then uh, we're gonna start uh, putting the raffia as a protection and uh, holding uh, the branch uh, in the same direction we are thinking uh, to bend the branch. This is very important uh, because uh, we want the raffia together with the wire to tighten uh, during the bend uh, and hold uh, the position on uh, the branch uh, and help uh, to move the uh, tension along the fiber and eventually also sucking the tension from the fibers. Now that uh, the raffia is uh, perfectly positioned, we have to start thinking uh, about uh, the wiring. We have uh, two lower branches, uh, a little bit disjoint, uh, one from the other. So I have to feel, uh, I have to think that uh, my better strategy will be start with the wire here, create my anchor, and then uh, clockwise uh, run the two half of the wire in the same direction. Part of the band will be done with the wire, but most of the band is always done using eye wire. So for every structural branch, we have to be sure in which direction we want to wire, eventually use better one wire between two branches, one part counterclockwise, the other one clockwise, or eventually, if the branch is by itself, we can always use a screw to anchor or like in this case with the same piece of wire go around the trunk anchor very well and then clockwise that is the direction we need to bend this branch run the two pieces one along the other to have maximum tension and hold Now that uh, 
all the structural wire is uh, positioned uh, connecting uh, the bigger branches uh, of the tree, thinking about uh, the next uh, positioning and the next bending they will have uh, to perform. Christian can take care of wiring uh, every single lead system, opening up uh, nicely the branches uh, and wire until uh, the top uh, with the finer wire. So when we start manipulating, everything will be wired and ready to be positioned. <laughs> So now all the tree is uh, perfectly wired. As I said, always uh, thinking on the direction of the, at the primary branches according to the position we plan uh, to bend them. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put uh, a guy wire from uh, this uh, anchor and uh, secure to this gin in order to start uh, pushing this section of the trunk and compact uh, a little bit more so we basically move it uh, back uh, according to what we want to use as a front. I will use uh, a uh, clamp that make uh, our work uh, easier. So we're going to start by putting the guy wire and then with the clamp uh, doing the bend. <music> Now that uh, part of the band uh, is done, uh, we're going to have uh, to put uh, a helper here in another direction so I can move uh, my clamp and then uh, also secure, here we are, secure the band a little bit more in the lower section. As you see, I always go against a piece of wire, so doing that, I can create a rotation and have uh, the branch still uh, going backwards. Let's control again from the front, uh, exactly. And now we have very visible all the nice uh, movement. And also this part uh, that will be our apex uh, is uh, less uh, forward uh, than before. So let's do another couple of uh, push uh, and then we start working at the structure. So, now that uh, we was able to bend back uh, this uh, section, and so we basically open uh, nicely all uh, this beautiful movement uh, of the tree. And remember, from this position over, everything is artificially, so everything was done by guy wiring. Now we can start uh, bending down uh, this branch. Uh, so the best option now that we put the, uh, the wire clockwise is to bend the branch down and then from this position we can still have the decision then we can put uh, the tree, the, the pad uh, here or here. That probably the best decision now that we create this movement uh, toward the right side will be to come out uh, with this branch here. So we have also the chance uh, basically to visually short uh, the branch uh, by hiding uh, the, bed, uh, the band uh, in the back. Uh, have this branch here, then work this guy inside and in this position. With this back uh, branch uh, that is already wired counterclockwise, we can, we can come down and frame uh, all the back. And then uh, will be only a question to high this uh, part uh, and finish up uh, a nice uh, uh, line of uh, the apex uh, and uh, frame everything on top uh, using all these branches. So let's do it.
that we found uh, a nice position for the first uh, branch uh, coming from the back uh, and opening up in this position. We're gonna start uh, bending inside uh, this other one. So we're gonna do the reverse uh, guy wire. Nothing too. Pushing this branch inside. Bene. So we can basically short this length and then. On a gym and using the gym plier, we can bend it out using the compression of the wire, here we are, and uh, bringing the branch uh, in the frontal position to create uh, another nice uh, part uh, of the grip. Now with the band uh, of the back branch, uh, we start uh, nicely framing also the left uh, side uh, of the tree, creating some green uh, in the lower left uh, and uh, building a nice uh, transition uh, with uh, the rhythm uh, between uh, the pads. We have always to remember that uh, a trunk of a tree creates uh, two big uh, negative uh, spaces, one to the left, one to the right. We have always a little bit to frame those spaces in order to be able uh, to frame uh, visually the trunk. So using some branches uh, coming even from the top, uh, what we can do is uh, creating uh, nice uh, pads uh, and doing that uh, we frame uh, the space uh, in the way up uh, to the trunk. Especially in a side like this one where we don't have any green, uh, we have to bring uh, branches from the top or from the back uh, to create the green uh, that we need in order to frame uh, this section. Okay, now we have uh, the first branch, the second one, and uh, we also frame uh, nicely this uh, section here, plus uh, we already start creating depth uh, using this branch into this negative space to stop uh, the view of the observer and create uh, three dimensional on the tree. Now the next step will be pushing down uh, this branch uh, here to this screw in order to create a nice visual connection uh, from uh, the first branch uh, going up to the top. So now that uh, more or less we set uh, all the structure and the pads, uh, you can uh, really appreciate the nice uh, movement going up, uh, the elegance uh, of the tree. Uh, we can spend some time uh, cleaning uh, the profiles uh, of the pads uh, to a little bit uh, adjust uh, the geometry and the lines uh, on the way up, uh, so we can really appreciate uh, the rhythm uh, between the pads. Uh, but basically, remember that uh, a first uh, uh, styling uh, like this one is not uh, 
for having kind of a final product uh, is most of all uh, to create uh, the structure and build uh, those bones that are very important uh, to really rely the styling uh, and the shape, the aesthetic of the tree on the long time uh, run uh, by setting up uh, the structure. The tree will be developing next year, we're gonna let it grow. So all uh, the branches that we manipulate, they can set in position and start, uh, as I said, uh, building those bones. Uh, we will uh, remove the thick wire probably in one year time uh, and keep uh, developing nice pad. Uh, these obviously lower branch uh, still have uh, to develop uh, more foliage, still have to develop uh, uh, volume. But uh, for now, we can say that we are pretty satisfied on this uh, final result. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you at the next.